Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft is now releasing Windows Setup Update KB5005932, and they say this is to address an issue where some devices cannot install new updates after installing the May and June optional updates that rolled out this year, 2021. Now, over on the Microsoft support webpage for this issue, they say, and I quote, after installing the May 25th KB5003214 update and the June 21st KB5003690 updates, some devices cannot install new updates such as the July 6 KB5004945 or later or newer updates. You will receive the error message PSFXE matching binary missing. So if you are getting this error message or you are, un are unable to install later or newer updates, then Microsoft says they have a resolution and a workaround according to the Microsoft support webpage for this issue. Now, just to give you an idea what I'm talking about, if we just go over to our um, Microsoft update in Windows 10 and under view update history, if you scroll down to other updates, this is where the optional updates are listed. And the two updates I am speaking about are KB5003214, which rolled out as an optional update in May, and KB5003690, which rolled out as an optional update in June of this year, 2021. And Microsoft says these two updates are responsible for um, issues where you are unable to install later and newer updates. Now, according to their support webpage, they say this issue occurs on devices that have been scavenged automatically to remove outdated resource records. When a system is scavenged, the recently installed latest cumulative update is marked as permanent and the older components are removed from the system. After scavenging is complete and a device is in this state, you cannot uninstall KB5003214 or KB5003690 and you cannot install the latest cumulative updates or update. Now, basically, they have offered a, a resolution and workaround, and they say, we recommend an in-place upgrade. An in-place upgrade installs an operating system on your device without removing the older version first. And Microsoft says, when you do this, your files, apps, and settings will not be affected. Now, Windows 10 update KB5005932 is a Windows setup update. So you, it will not be available through the Windows update process in Windows 10. It will only be available for download uh, manually at the you know in the Microsoft Update catalog, and you just enter the KB number, and that is for Windows 10 versions 21H1, 20H2, and 2004. And it says here it's only for ARM64 based systems, but the bulletin, the release notes for this update also say it addresses issues uh, in 32-bit uh, and 64-bit versions. Um, of these uh, various versions of Windows 10 as well. And then you just download the update and manually install it onto your device. And once it is installed, uh, Microsoft says Windows users can initiate an in-place upgrade by creating a special registry key, key using the following instructions. So this um, update KB5005932 will um, create a registry key, which will let you perform an in-place upgrade. Now, how we do this is in search, you just uh, type in and enter command, which will bring up command prompt and you right click command prompt and run it as administrator. And it needs to say administrator and you need to see system 32 for it to be running as administrator. And then next you will have to generate a registry key value that is required for a device to be targeted for an in-place upgrade. And we just enter this command. Now, this is a bit of a long command and too much to mention in uh, in this video. But what I will do, I will leave a link down below to this command where you can go and um, copy and paste it if you are finding yourself experiencing this issue. Now, after you've entered the command, you just press enter. And I'm not going to press enter because obviously I don't have this issue. You press enter and then uh, Microsoft says, this registry value will be removed once the in-place upgrade is complete. It can take up to 48 hours for the in-place upgrade to be offered to the device. Once offered, the device will update to a clean version of the operating system that is currently on the machine. It will have the latest monthly security quality update as well. After the in-place upgrade, the device will be able to take new updates normally. So basically, Microsoft says this should fix that issue where you are not receiving the latest uh, uh, 
uh, updates and cumulative updates through Windows Update. You apply this fix, they say, and um, hopefully this will resolve that issue. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.